Now, LIBOR from the corruption scandals of 2008 is being superseded by Sonia. Can you explain to our subscribers and followers, Johnny, what's happening with LIBOR, what that is, and what Sonia is superseding it this year? Sure. So LIBOR is the London interbank offered rate. So this was the, um, the, the rate the, of interest, the interest rate that was being used by banks um, and they said, tonight we are lending money at this price. And they would then take a, um, they would take out the, some of the top ones, some of the bottom ones, and they would take a, an average of the ones in the middle, say, overnight, this is the current rate of interest rates. But unfortunately, in 2008, in the crisis, they found that, um, you know, they're all city slickers and were, were actually not being totally truthful. And they, they'd been accused of manipulating um, what rates were being charged overnight. So clearly, um, that is not acceptable. Um, so they're moving to Sonia. So that is the sterling overnight index average. Um, and so this is by the end of 2021? At the end of 2021. And one of the reasons that we've got this in as a prediction for 2020 is that you're, you're going to see many, many banks spending a huge amount of money. Um, I think Accenture put numbers out saying it's 1.8 billion it's going to cost to transfer the millions of contracts where they mention LIBOR and now they're going to have to replace that and write to clients and get them to re-agree to actually have Sonia. And if they don't do that, then you could well find the PPI scandal, which was 43 billion that it cost the banks, you could see this being even greater. So the Financial Services um, Authority are all over this like a rash. And they're saying, what we need to do is make sure that all these contracts have been rewritten. And this is where I think potentially smart contracts artificial intelligence will come in because if you can replace a lot of these paper-based systems with electronic contracts and you have a smart contract which will say if you default on your loan then the interest rate based on Sonia is X. Now if that proves to be successful will that open the floodgates for the digitization of the derivatives market and that really could be an interesting move.